Hi, I'm Heather Telford and today I'm making some wintry snowflake cards with Graphics Liquid Frisket, the Frisket Eraser and some Graphics Artist Tack. The first thing I'm going to do is splatter some liquid frisket onto this piece of hot pressed watercolour paper and that's going to resist the ink that I'm going to put on. You can put liquid frisket on in several ways. Uh, this is the tool that comes with the uh, white mask um, from Graphics and all you have to do to use that is dip the end in water and then just dab the water off and then you can dip the end in your liquid frisket. Now I just want a, like a free splatter so I can get a little bit with this tool but it's really better for um, making marks and it's got a fine end and a blunt end. So what I usually do when I'm just doing splatter is to use a paintbrush instead. And I just, to make cleanup easier, I put a little bit of detergent. This is just dish detergent. A little bit of detergent on my brush, not much. And then I dip that in my liquid frisket and then I just splatter onto my watercolour paper. And I'm getting little dots that um, of several different sizes. I'm going to set that aside to dry. That takes about 10 minutes. While that panel dries, I'm going to watercolor another panel that I had already splattered liquid frisket onto. And I'm just using distress inks. I'm going to make a random background. You could use watercolor paints or dye inks like I have. You just want something that will move and is diluted with water. So you can see I'm getting a lot of movement and blending there already. I want a little bit more blue. So I've got some really nice green coverage. I could play with it and play with it, but we'll let that one dry. The panel I splattered at the beginning is dry now. The uh, little dots of liquid frisket are dry. And uh, if you've splattered some or applied some and it's in a place that you don't want it, once it's dry, you can rub it off. You can rub it off with your finger or with a frisket eraser that I'll show you later at the end of the project. So let's make a new colored pattern with my blues and purples. That's pretty as it is, but that is not the final look I'm after. And I'll let all the panels dry and then remove the frisket. Once the ink or watercolour paint is dry, 
we can remove the frisket. And this is a frisket eraser. When you buy the liquid frisket, you get a little eraser. This one's been used. I just when I just pull off the corners when they get a little bit stained. But all you do is rub it across your panel and it picks up all those little bits of frisket. And then I do a little check with my fingers to make sure I got everything. Because all the little dots are raised, so you'll feel you'll feel a raised area anywhere where you didn't remove the frisket. I've stuck some of the panels onto card bases and now I'm going to attach snowflakes to them. So this is my snowy sky and these are my intricate snowflakes. I cut them on a Cricut, a new toy that I have. And uh, they could be very fiddly to glue down if you were using a glue pen or something like that. Uh, but with Graphics Artist Tack, they're not terribly fiddly at all. So Artist Tack comes in a pack of 25 sheets and these sheets have glue dots on them. So what I'm going to do is grab one of these snowflakes and I just peel back, I'll peel up there. This is the non-sticky side. Peel that up and what what is in here is lots of glue dots. So I'm going to put my snowflake in there. I don't think it matters too much which side. Press that down, another one. Some of it's going to be off the card so I can have it hanging out. And I've got a couple of die cut ones. They're not quite as intricate, but still quite fiddly for gluing. So I'm going to put all these in here. So as I'm pressing on these images, they are the glue dots on this artist tack are adhering to the back of my snowflakes. I'm going to start with this one. And all I have to do now is press it on. Because those glue dots are adhered to the, every little bit of the snowflake, I can quickly glue that onto the back of my card. And just cut the excess off. Now, if there's any little bits of glue from my fingers or peeping out the side of the snowflake, then I can just use the same eraser that I used for the liquid frisket and it will pick them up. I can just see one or two here and there. The other thing you could do if, you've just, if you're just feeling the surface is a tiny bit sticky is just brush it with a powder tool. Thanks for joining me. I hope you'll try the liquid frisket. It's a great way to make snowstorms on your cards. And the artist tack is a really easy way to glue down really fiddly little items. For more information, visit graphicsarts.com and my blog,
www.cards.heathertelford.com.